All right, today we are going to discuss lecture four and lecture five of I speaking module. In last two lectures, uh, rather in three lectures of speaking module, we have been discussed part first and part second of IELTS speaking module. As we know that there will be only three sections or three parts in IELTS speaking. The first part will be consisted of introduction based on the personality of the uh, candidate or student. The second part will be based on giving any, any kind of topic. The examiner will give any kind of topic and you will prepare it for one minute and then we'll explain for two minutes. And now today we are going to discuss part three and further some points regarding IELTS speaking module. Okay, so let's take a start. And part three, what are the details? Questions will be having like, what are the details in the questions? It will having like this kind of concept, like uh, what, what has been asked from us, there will be a kind of these details in the question, the answer for the question in part three, like comparison, means uh, whether I agree, do you agree with that or not, right? It will be having this kind of statement, okay? So, uh, second thing, like criticism. Criticism, again, main, uh, a topic will be given to us on which we will criticize, like whether is it okay, yes or not. It is a positive effect. It has a positive effect on the society or does not, do not have any kind of positive effect, right? Second thing, causes and effect kind of question will be asked like what are the causes and what are the effects of social media or what are the causes and what are the effect of uh, social norms or criminal activities on society or mobile phone on young generation like like uh, i simply mean that the question which will be asked in part three will be either related to comparison agree uh, in which we will agree or disagree to the statement or it will having a kind of criticism. We will do a kind of criticism on the question or we will just share the causes and effects of those, uh, the statement which will be asked from us by an examiner or we will contrast the ideas. Like on one side, it has some, some drawbacks or on one side, it is some positive side. On the other side, it is another. Now I, I, I have detail for the above topics like agree and disagree. Uh, as I wrote earlier, comparison, agree, disagree. Like the statement which will be given in part three of I'll speaking module, we will be either agree with that or disagree with that, right? Secondly, the statement can also have advantage or disadvantage in place of agree and disagree. We can just only talk about advantage and disadvantage. Uh, okay, it will depend on the statement. Third thing, facts, a kind of question will be asked in which the facts will be required. Facts like, for example, social examples, soci examples from society. Examples are, you can say quotations, or you can say uh, some strong statement which has been observed in society or which, in, which has been observed in circumstances where we are living, right? In the world or in our country. So we will discuss those points and question are in section part three of I'll speaking module for all kinds of questions. Opinions would be acceptable, like a question that we ask in which we will just share our opinion, right? Advice, suggestions, opinion can be also positive and it can also have some negative aspects, right? So it actually means that in part three, the all the whole all discussion just only if I uh, conclude it in simple word, it only mean agree or disagree, right? So we will just uh, give an answer for all the kind of questions, those kind of and speaking model part three, and to which we will agree or disagree. Secondly, we will deal with problems and solution. Like a kind of question will be asked from us in which we will describe some problems and then solution for those problems, right? And there will be a kind of general part, right? Discuss the kinds of something in details, uh, okay? Like if, we, uh, if a question is asked from, or being asked from us, what are the effects of social media on youths, right? Now we will discuss uh, various kinds of it, like uh, in, in social media sites, we have uh, Facebook site, we have Twitter, we have YouTube, we have 
uh, Instagram and so on. So, so many other sites, right? Now, what are the effects of those sites? Uh, it has both positive and drawbacks, uh, right? The negative drawbacks we can see are dark side. So we'll discuss both sides collectively. That is called discussing the kinds of something in detail. Part three is for official discussion. And what does it mean? It means that it will be like a meeting type of discussion table be uh, to be on table. To be a table means that it will be uh, like in front, uh, it will be just a kind of meeting. Uh, an examiner will just looking in our eyes and he will just observe your gestures. He will observe your way of communication. He will observe your grammar. He will observe your, uh, he will be observing, right? Uh, like how we are conveying our message and how we are using different connectors and how we are going to make him understand on our statement, right? So he will observe all those things. Um, the all, above, all the able topics are types of question in part three. So actually, uh, I hope it will be quite clear right now that what kind of question is most possibly going to be asked in speaking module part three, right? So such kind of question will be asked from us and which we will be supposed to give agree or disagree statement, causes or effect or contest or advantage, disadvantage, our opinions are like we will be supposed to give such kind of response in which these things will be there right agree disagree opinion suggestion advantage disadvantage right so all the above topics are actually the parts are they are the types of questions in part three right such kind of question to be asked in part three now what should be the sequence sequence means how we should start firstly we should give a proper response like if any kind of question is being asked from us, then the proper response would be like that. Sir, uh, I'm of the opinion, right? This is the proper response. Sir, I'm of the opinion that it has some drawbacks for the society. But if, it also, but if we focus it on, uh, on its brighter side, so it has also some advantage. Now, actually I'm explaining the answer, how to answer and how to respond quickly or properly or correctly. Right, so this is actually an accurate reply or an accurate response to an examiner for any kind of question, right? Second thing is uh, we are going to deal with the causes, reason. Like if we give any kind of response to an examiner, we should also provide the reason for that. Like we should also prove that, that yeah, it has this kind of uh, uh, information or it has this kind of statement and we should prove our statement. We should just uh, uh, prove our analysis, right? And for proving our analysis, we are supposed to give a kind of reason for our statement. Whatever we have shared with the examiner, we should also just share any kind of reason for that, for impro uh, just proving our statement, okay? All right, next thing is effects. Like if the question has been asked in part three from a student, what are the effects are, what do you think a social media or a soft reading is good or not? Now, first of all, our response should be very quickly, right? First, uh, answering for the part three section, our response should be like, sir, I am of the opinion that it has some drawbacks, that it has indeed some positive side effects are some positive uh, po uh, positive sides but it has also, also some negative, negative right one minute please make your mic some negative aspects right uh, the t sign in aspect okay so we should this this is called actually response we giving a quick response and guys, I'm of the opinion is a very good sentence to utter or to use it, right? So we should use it. It is, it seems like a formal using of, uh, you can call it. Yeah, uh, we, it is a formal use of a phrase, okay? So for quick response and part three, we should say like this, or I'm of the opinion that it has indeed some positive side, but it has also some negative aspects okay then we should share the reason like why what are the positive sides for proving our statement we should give him or her a proper or positive reason 
and reason means uh, a practical example from the life like it has if it has some positive aspects the social media or the social re uh, soft reading so what are those positive aspects and how we can just prove it for proving it we can or we should sort out an example from the society like yes it has positive effects and in a way we do not go to markets we just stay in our home and we do not consume our money and without consuming money and energy we just easily get all the materials from internet or from social sites now it is a positive effect but on the dark side if you are going to discuss any kind of negative effect or negative aspect of the same point you guys are supposed to say it like this sir this is one of the positive aspect but i think it has also some negative aspects like screen reading is not good for our eyes we also like get suffer from that we feel mentally tired tired by looking to screen or watching the screen for too much long time right and book reading like book we get our our mental uh, just our mental uh, capability and ability just grow with book reading not with soft reading so such kinds of uh, uh, like examples are such kind of uh, perceptions can be shared for negative side and some other which i have shared earlier that we do not consume money and so on as can be shared those points can be shared in positive aspects right so this was just a response a quick re response in part 3 section and after response i shared the reason for positive aspect right as well as for negative aspect so we should sh share it like this and negative aspect right and after that uh, uh, I, I also shared the effect like causes and effect causes means reason why it is good and why it is not good and effects what are the effects I also shared effects like uh, and effects for positive sides uh, we do not consume money and for negative sides it has effects on our eyes and it, it, it has effects on our, our mental capability and ability it has effects on our mental health right practical example should be also given that is another point in part three answers like social example now at here we should keep one thing uh, to be very we should be very careful to one thing at here we are not supposed to take an example of i like first person right okay so we should always and always use a practical as an example and practical example means to take art or to sort out at a, an example from the society not from our own dictionary not from our own book like from our own book i mean to say not we should not say like this that sir i was doing this and i felt that and i think it is uh, it has drawbacks because i was suffer from that right like i enjoyed it and it is it, it is good for me so i think it is uh, okay it should be uh, done the soft reading right so we should not use i and i in i an example we should use society we should say the public we should say that the people we should say how it has uh, a good effect or drawback uh, some drawbacks on the society right uh, in simple words we can say that we should use the social example the society examples in our examples right again that okay so uh, again is used for prolonging your question or our answer in part three no history should be discussed no background no delay we should not delay instead of delaying we should give a quick response that sir i'm of opinion sir in my perception sir i think sir uh, actually you know this is a kind of question in which i think that uh, it has some positive aspects and some other negative aspects on the dorsal side right so we should take a start a quick with a quick response there should be no delay we should not delay our answer we should not go for a long kind of history because if you will move towards history and we'll just discuss background the ground of the statement then uh, we will lake our bands because when we will reach to the point answer then there will be no time left for us and then we will like parents definitely no tradition should be discussed like wh where it affects in which tradition is good and that 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 and intro questions like in intro questions was uh, in part first like the intro answer introductory answer which were there in part first not at here in part uh, three in part three there are again a kind of detailed questions detailed question will be asked from us and we, we guys will supposed to answer an explanation right okay let's move to lecture five 
uh, it is also a very short point some short points are discussed it here okay uh, yes the first change is situational change the first point which is uh, i has i have written in part uh, lecture five that is the first change is situational change like it, does, it only means the examiner at here check your situation like in first part he asks about your personality in second part he give you a statement and then he asked you to uh, just tell something for two minutes about that statement and third in third part he is giving you a statement or a title on which you are going to agree with that or disagree with that and also to prove that right so he's actually checking it here or he's just going going to change the situation for you and the purpose of this situation is to check your information whether you are informative or not right secondly he is going to see whether you are a social person or not social person uh, like the part three will deal uh, it will be dealing with the uh, social norms right social activities so it will definitely check your social capability that uh, are, are you taking a part in society and your social circumstances are not right can you serve in foreign countries without any hesitation etc so, so a part three is actually to check your capability that are you able to live in foreign countries without any uh, kind of hesitation without any kind of lacking confidence without any just feeling uh, awkward there or just feeling like uh, not good or not okay in foreign countries would be like would you able to live over there in foreign countries so he is going to check only these things right the examiner change tenses to know your grammatical structure right uh, he will also change tense sometimes he will, might use past tense right sometimes he's going to f use future tense so these are actually the pre ielts topics right uh, uh, each candidate should go through kind of tenses as uh, like uh, types of tenses and uses of it uh, and uh, other things sentence structure should be learned by each candidate punctuation is also very important for writing material right if clauses are very important there are only four kinds of if clauses and these are actually pre ielts topics but if someone do not know about these topics someone does not know sorry so he should go for those topics or she should go for such kind of topics besides that uh, i have also mentioned the pre ielts topics like which are supposed to be learned before appearing in ielts exam or before preparation for ielts exam these are the topics which are should be taught thoroughly or we should be learned thoroughly okay and, and the, the first one is tenses second one is active passive like uh, passive would help you to use paraphrase r to change the question of an examiner in synonym verb right uh, if he asks you a kind of question and you just may answer it and uh, use the same statement of an examiner in passive wise so it will also uh, seem to be changed right so like you are supposed to always use change with different words from an examiner right second third thing is if clauses very important the conditionals like if you use the first class zero conditional second conditional or third condition so you should also answer in the same conditional type right whatever is the conditional type there are four conditional types so or whatever type uh, like uh, the examiner is asked in whatever type so you are supposed to write uh, to, uh, just to uh, answer in the same type okay not in the other type gerunds gerund means like using ing word uh, as a noun okay like for example walking is good for health walking is good for health so these are important to learn infinitives when we use to with a verb to work daily on to work on daily basis or to work for 24 hours right now it here to drive to wear to read to speak right before a verb when we use to and uh, in a sentence it is actually called infinitive right uh, it here to work is infinitive uh, we can call it infinitive verb and at here this word walking uh, which is where there is no helping word before walking 
that here walking is actually called gerund, right? Gerund. List verb, verbs followed by gerunds. We should also learn like walking and to work, like the, the gerunds and adventives come together. So these topics are actually, I was briefly explaining, these topics should be learned thoroughly before uh, practicing for IELTS real exam. These are some examples uh, I have taken or I have given for this pre-IELTS topic, right? So you guys can take our sort of the screenshot of these things, uh, or you should go for by yourself to learn from somewhere. Okay, uh, so these are very important. Okay, now next thing is changing ideas. The first thing was changing tenses uh, by from an examiner's side. Next thing, changing ideas like what, when, why, where, who, which, how, what happened, when happened, why happened, where it takes place, who was there the next person which place was there or, or which uh, thing was there which you can say uh, 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 which you can say materials are uh, which type of which kind of uh, things were included in that right which kind of idea how it takes place right so we should keep wh questions in mind it will help to increase our answer or to bring a lot of ideas in our mind okay so these are very important next thing is connectors Connectors are used for a purpose of to tell an examiner or response for response or we have on like uh, uh, for any kind of response. Like if we say uh, in positive sides, so we can say for positive sides uh, on one side, or we can say uh, and it's positive aspect, or we can say uh, on, on the right hand, right? While if we are going to talk about the negative response and here we can say on the dorsal side, on the darker side, on the uh, dark side, on the negative aspect, on the contrary side, right? For advantage and disadvantage, we have own connectors for uh, have own connectors for causes. Okay, so we have actually uh, different kind of connectors for each kind of response, or we can say for each kind of perception, we have different connectors, right? Okay, now what what is meant by body movement? That is very important, very, very important in IELTS speaking. Okay, if someone is uh, just acting it or just using the body gestures, means the signs through hands and through facial expression, like smiling on his face, it influences and impresses an examiner a lot, right? It should be done uh, and continuously with consistency. It's very important to follow an IELTS speaking model part three as well as in part first and part second right all the time we use gestures and postures means like you know these things right and now it will seem that you have a command on the uh, answer and an answer and you are familiar to that question whatever has been asked from you you if you will use gestures it will seem like uh, you are a professional speaker you have a command on that you have a background knowledge of regarding that right intonation intonation is very important and i hope it will be re remembered to you guys i discussed for two times la uh, in last lectures like try to discuss do conversation with rise and fall rise and fall or rise and lowering down your voice okay when you rise your voice and lower your voice like uh, in english language we sometimes rise it and sometimes lower it and then uh, with the, besides that when we use gestures and we use smile now just imagine how natural that person will seem like he will seem a very good speaker even uh, the person who is not going to understand him he will like him or she will like him like how beautifully he is speaking right or she is speaking so with using gestures smiling on the face postures should be positive and uh, like it's active person so these are actually the things which are very important and we should be followed in all speaking material facial expression coming towards facial expression uh, that is very important also must be natural not official right okay the intonation i have written one sentence it here uh, it should be keep in mind that is uh, yeah that is that it is the uh, you can say a part of english language right intonation is a part of english language to rise and fall your voice it is actually the part of language which language english language so it will be saved that's why i asked you or i shared that 
it will be seem more natural okay facial expression for facial expression it should be natural right it should be not official like natural means uh whatever you are going to tell an examiner or whatever you are answering him or her it should seem real not fake okay right not official okay and official means too much serious too much serious in front of examiner that is not okay right we should not show too much seriousness to uh, in front of examiner right too much seriousness is not okay it is not we can say too much seriousness uh, we can say is not accepted is not acceptable in front of an examiner right uh, we will just lake our bands we should be very friendly to, uh, mm, okay uh, in front of an examiner we should be act like a formal person we should we act like a uh, we can say uh, the, the we, we should act like a natural speaker okay a professional speaker it should be also natural eyes contact should be there right it will be uh, uh like you will be uh, he will consider like you are having a confident you will be considered a confident person okay so that is for your confident level right so these are some very good techniques that should be followed like these are body languages right body language techniques the first was gesture second was intonation posture making facial expression like smiling and the smile on the face and it should be natural it should be professional it should be real it should seem real not fake okay if you are going to tell something which has not happened with your within your life but you are supposed to tell in a way that it should seem real okay it should seem like it has happened it has taken place in your life right and second thing is I. The last thing is I can tag. That is very important. Confident level. It uh, it shows your confident level. Like it shows your uh, you having uh, you are having come out on your answer or on your statement, right? Note the last note for part uh, lecture five is that some students start all of their answers. That is very important. Very important. Some students start all of their answer from the same phrase, like sir well i know that it is good effects but i think now it was one answer now for the another answer sir well you asked this question and i think it has some good effects now that was the starting of another answer starting line okay now for another answer third answer he will again say or she will again say sir well you asked this question or sir well i think it has some good aspects now another now for all kind of questions he will or she will just take a start with this word well 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 and this should be avoided it's not okay okay it should not be, it should not be repeated again and again okay should not be repeated the starting word should not be repeated again for again and again for the uh, all the for all the questions right uh, uh, besides using well or well and when uh, for all answers and start we should say in fact although however besides that uh, in other words i am of the opinion which is my favorite one i'm of the opinion okay i'm of the opinion right and my perception and my perception so these are some other right so we should sh use such uh, phrases besides using like so and then are well and well and well again and again instead of those or instead of using those again and again we should go for such kind of phrases in fact it has some uh, good aspects but i think sir it has also some drawbacks uh, that should not be avoided that can never be neglected in our life right although i think it has some positive aspects but sir you know it has also some drawbacks on our body and our physical and mental health right however it is good for our personality or however it is good for the public but besides that it is also some drawbacks sir i'm of the opinion right like i i'm i, I was just starting the phrase from or the answer from each of these phrases okay so we should follow these okay connectors should be changed connected means uh, these are connectors now however furthermore in addition and other words uh, on the dots side on the contrary side additionally finally 
logically, religiously, psychologically, scientifically. So all these connectors should be used, not only one connector, like however, although, however, although. So one word should not be used for all answers, rather for beside one word, using one word, we should use different kind of connectors. We should use different kind of phrases. We should use different kind of words and those they, like those things which to which we connect the ideas like connectors simply transitions right we should change them okay we should try our level best to change them uh, according to the position and according to the uh, uh, just connecting idea we should change uh, connectors are there okay and uh, this was all about today's lecture lecture four and five regarding i speaking module i hope it was beneficial and helpful ajmal did you get something yes sir yes okay leonel is absent. I... just some other students are absent uh, because of their foreign time they are uh, facing some uh, you can say business activity and some other issue okay so you if you have any question yes yeah um during the lecture you said that uh, jaran jaran what is the uh, meaning of jaran yeah yeah uh, that is actually called gerund gerund and gerund is gerund. yeah yeah i i have written the uh, uh, definition at here i also explained briefly that is like verb plus ing function as a noun when we just uh, like connect ing with verbs right connect ing with verbs and use it as a noun not as a verb like if i say uh, this now it will be quite clear to you uh, she is mm -hmm. swimming uh, she is swimming and here swimming is a verb but if i use swimming at the beginning swimming is good for health now at here swimming is not a verb like it here and the first sentence swimming is a verb yes is it or not yeah 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 yeah, yeah good now but if i use the same word uh, in other place Artificial. and yeah not in action uh, sorry not uh, you can say uh, as a regular or stative or dynamic verb rather i use it as a noun like i take it or i i just give it as a name of activity a name of exercise right so at here it is a noun or it is called gerund right whenever we use okay. such a, like driving uh, he is driving driving is a verb but you say driving is difficult job to learn right uh, at here, I I want to give another example. I like speaking English. Now, at here, speaking is uh, uh, yeah. Now, I planned reading a book. I practice reading a book. I mind teaching, right? Now, these are actually gerund. And if you say I mind to teach, now at here it is uh, infinitive verb. Okay, when we use to uh -huh. before a verb. I hope it is clear. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, okay, so if you have any other question, yes. No, thank you. T today lesson is very easy. Yeah, it was easy, and uh, the last point were very beneficial. It were very, very beneficial. Th those points, uh, I hope uh, those points were here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sorry, this part, especially this portion. Uh, I I want that each candidate should start out. The, uh, should take out the screenshot of this. This is very important like this portion connectors body movement intonation facial expression you can say this is the summary of speaking module for part first part second part third this is the summary and each candidate i we just uh, suggest them and we ask them that they are supposed to follow these tricks connectors different connectors not similar body movement and with gestures gestures like face smile and face and intonation rising and lowering down the voice and facial expression which should seem real not fake like not official too much serious is seriousness is not good too much seriousness uh, because of too much seriousness a person seem like he's lacking confident and he's not uh, you can say not, not, uh, uh, he's just feeling like anxious or awkward or uh, he's not okay with the situation. So they see him like uh, lacking of, uh, uh, he's going to lack the confidence and then he will definitely lack the bands. So these are very important bands. Okay, so we are going to end the session. Thank you. See you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, have Thank a good, you. Night. good night. Good have night. Good night. night.